<laughs> what, what's wrong? What happened? Uh, I just read online that Michael Douglas got throat cancer from going down on too many women or something. Can you really get throat cancer from oral sex? Uh, yes, HPV positive oral pharyngeal cancer. And you get it from going down on vaginas, penises, butts. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, you can. <laughs> so I'm definitely getting throat cancer then, cuz I'm not gonna stop going down on people. It's just not. That's just not who I am. Oh, okay. Let's let's go over some facts. Okay, let's go over the facts. Okay. Every year, about 59,000 Americans, or about two in 10,000, are diagnosed with some form of head or neck cancer. Data are hard to find, but it's estimated that up to 70 to 90 percent of these cancers are positive for human papilloma virus, or HPV. Oh, what? 70 to 90? You're saying HPV causes more cancer than smoking? No, no. Technically, yes, but that doesn't mean that smoking is safer than oral sex. Tobacco use has dropped dramatically, so there are less cancers associated with it. But you're much more likely to die from a tobacco-associated cancer than an HPV-positive cancer. More on that later. There's still a lot we don't understand about risk factors, but here's what we see. These cancers are more commonly found in white men in their 40s and 50s. Your risk of HPV-positive head or neck cancer also increases significantly if you've had more than five oral sex partners or more than 25 vaginal sex partners. That, that's it? <laughs> So I'm definitely getting throat cancer, it's just a matter of time. Well, well, while your risk is higher, your overall risk is still pretty low. HPV is extremely common. It's estimated by age 50, 80 to 90% of people will have already contracted at least once. And more than 90% of the time, people's immune systems naturally eliminate the virus within two years. Using condoms and dental dams during oral sex probably reduces your risk, but you can still contract the virus with any skin skin or skin fluid contact. However, there's an HPV vaccine that looks pretty effective at preventing cancer, and it's recommended for everyone under the age of 26. You know, and, and even if you're older than 26, it looks pretty safe, so talk to your doctor about getting it, uh, especially if you're at a higher risk. The good news is that HPV positive head and neck cancers have a high survival rate. With HPV negative head and neck cancers, say caused by tobacco use, within five years, over half don't make it. Whereas with HPV positive head and neck cancers, once treated, 85 to 90% of people are disease free five years after diagnosis. Okay, that's good. So to sum things up, uh, chances are I already got HPV but most likely my immune system already cleared it. But even if I do get HPV positive cancer, chances are I'll survive it. Yeah, that's right. And knowing you, you'll probably die much earlier from like taking a selfie while driving or drinking too much water on a dare. You really think so? I know so. Okay. Thanks Alex, I feel a lot better. Good, good, anytime. Anytime. Trust, commitment, and